Yeah, hello, I saw Fix Computer Solutions. Today we have a Dell motherboard. This one, when you insert into the charger, is giving us a so the first restart. And you know what? I thought actually I should uh, I should connect the screen here so that we see together. Yeah, you see the reason as to why these machines sometimes come dismantled is because uh, this one car coming from other computer shops and these guys maybe try the do the repair attempt and sometimes they are not successful yeah? so you can see the white light here so this is on check the power supply someone is trying to call me sorry so the second attempt you can see the white light here the Dell is here so there's a message that is yeah boot guard verified DXE that is failed system will shut down I don't know whether you can see this one yeah. boot guard verified DXE that is fail system will shut down press any key so now this is the message and let me come with an external keyboard connect it here and maybe press any key so I don't know whether you can what happens when I press any key so the machine goes out eh? if I'm not wrong eh? is it coming on again so the machine is not going to come on again I disconnect the power and connect the power again okay Yeah, so are we going to have another display or not? So the turning on the machine actually is intermittent. Sometimes it's on, sometimes it's not on. So after you press the power button, after that message will come on the screen. The machine is just going out and nothing else is happening. Sorry, sorry. Okay, let me try again. Oh, now you don't even have a display. Okay, you know what? We don't have the whole day here. Yeah, so let me just cut it out and remove the screen. And let me work on this. Eh? So I'll try to, to do a, a fresh firmware. So I'll first of all work on these two chips and see whether I'll write on both chips and see whether that error is going to go away. Because from experience, that's the first thing I would first suspect before. Eh? Yeah, that is the ME region. Yeah, so let's do that. Yeah, so this is the chip. Oh, sorry, not that one. Okay. Yeah. 
your result p number one and p number one is there yeah so let's try to to come up with a, a new firmware so yeah this programmer is here you can see on my camera so let's try to take it back that is p number one yeah so unfortunate i started by concentrating on the chip and i forgot to keep the hot air station running now you have to wait for it to to accumulate the required heat to to heat up this chip to go back to its position okay but i think it's getting hot very quickly because it's just from heating up some minutes ago okay so let's try to set up this pin okay so i think uh, okay so yeah i think it's cooling down so and let me see whether on the power supply is going to draw anything you can see already taking zero point uh, i have the white light but i don't know now whether i'm going to get a uh, display I don't know whether I'm going to get a display. So let me check. I'll let you know. No display yet. So I don't know if I'll get a display on this one or not. okay okay so it's not gonna pass there okay so let me remove and start again okay why is it going back there to five 5, 0.581 eh? and I don't know whether this one is going to give us anything I really don't know whether that is going to give us anything of substance eh? I don't know whether my RAM is the problem uh, so let's, let's come out of the microscope mode yeah out of microscope mode Mm, so the amperes I've seen being drawn there. So the cheap, uh, I don't know whether they. Okay, let me try to touch something here. I see, like I can. So some flux here. See whether maybe one of the pin is not well okay just a little bit this one we don't need to be under the microscope yeah i think the pin yeah so let me try now let me try to see the amperage now eh? so zero point uh, from point four three six wow it's out eh? so the second attempt is up we are having the second attempt is on 
Oh, I saw something. Yeah, the amperes are a bit good now. They are a bit good. Yeah, this one you can try the screen. This one you can try. Okay, you mean it's just that one pin that was causing the the havoc? I would call that the havoc. Okay, let me try the screen. Eh? We see whether we're still getting that error again. I hope the error is going to go away. Yeah, nobody wants to keep working on one one same thing the whole day. So let me connect. Uh, remember the error was appearing here on top. Eh? A very tiny error that used to say the, the GD something. And we are hoping this time round the so 4.0.6. Yeah, this is a good sign. Eh? So second attempt is on. It's a good sign. Eh? Okay, I, okay, I'm not liking it. Eh? Oh, yeah. Okay, the logo needs to go away. Wow, yeah. And this is what we are looking for. Eh? This is what we are looking for. Remember the other logo? The other message, uh, error message that was coming on top of the screen. Eh? Yeah, this part here. Yeah, Derek, now you know how to do this, eh? Yeah, Derek was telling me to do a Dell on the, uh, that error here, on the Dell. And I think now, Derek, you have, you know how to handle that next time, eh? So that is it for today. Yeah, thank you.